The best portable monitors are a great way to expand your screen space when using a mobile device. Ever thought your laptop, tablet, or games console didn't let you dive into the detail? Then, these are the portable monitors we recommend. Checking out our expert team of reviewers have tested hundreds of the best monitors and best business monitors for everything from browsing in the office to editing photos, so we know what you need to know when it comes to compact displays for working and playing on the go ideal for working around the home, the commute in on campus. The best portable monitor models are lightweight, compact, and slimline with high resolutions, refresh rates, color accuracy, and color space coverage. As part of our review process, we've compared all specs, performance, viewing angles, materials, and build construction across a range of full HD and 4K portable monitors and touchscreen displays for everyday use. There are many things about the Asus Zenscreen that makes it a worthy top recommendation if you're seeking a portable monitor for productivity and uh, casual use. It's a bit on the small side, but at least that means it's the perfect size of that 1080p resolution. And its one pound weight means that you'll hardly feel it in your backpack when traveling or commuting in terms of performance. You'll be hard pressed to complain. It's got 100% DCI-P3 color gamut and a color accuracy, delivering excellent color performance. It also has a bright panel, topping at 360 nits, so you won't have to squint through your eight-hour workday, although we wish the display itself isn't so glossy and prone to annoying reflections. The only complaint we have about its design is that its stand, which moonlights as its case, isn't the most convenient to use. Hardly a big deal if it wasn't for the fact but it's also not the cheapest option. The Zen Screen OLED is a nicely designed monitor with thin black borders around all sides of the display. However, the bottom border extends into a sizable gray colored chin that houses a centrally located Asus logo and two circular shapes to the far right. Those circles house a proximity sensor that has two primary functions. First purpose is to detect your presence and put the monitor to sleep when you're not sitting in front of it while turning it back on when you return. Turning the display off saves power and more importantly prevents OLED burn-in. The left edge is also home to the power button and three additional buttons for navigating the on-screen display OSD. This is similar in setup to the Zenscreen Inc. that we recently reviewed. The back is pretty barren, save for a tripod mount. Unlike other members in Asus's vast portable monitor portfolio, the Zenscreen OLED does not come with a built-in kickstand. Instead, it comes with a magnetic origami-style smart case that works well enough, Asus includes two small pamphlets in the box describing how to use it and I consulted it frequently. At first, there are multiple positions for propping up the Zen screen O-Lady horizontally or vertically in portrait mode. It's a somewhat complicated arrangement that could have been solved by including a sturdy built-in stand, as we saw with the Zen screen ink. The stand allows you to use the monitor in horizontal or portrait modes without hassle. With the Zen Screen OLED, if you lose the case or it flops over, you're out of luck. For a $399 monitor, this is an annoying oversight. The Zen Screen OLED is constructed entirely of plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap. It is 5 mm thick at its thinnest point and about double that thickness towards the bottom, where you'll find the various ports. The smart case is made of a relatively sturdy faux leather material, although the outermost edge is easily bent. You get the gist if you've ever used an Apple smart cover for an iPad. Viewing angles with the Zen Screen OLED are good all around, with brightness tapering off just ever so slightly when shifting left or right of center. We couldn't say the same for the Zen Screen Ink, which exhibited abysmal performance in this metric. As is expected with the glossy displays, the Zen Screen OLED 
picks up stray reflections from nearby windows and overhead lights. This is exacerbated when using the screen outdoors. However, this is a problem for nearly all glossy displays, the Asus Zen Screen. O-A-L-E-E-D can overcome this detriment by cranking up the brightness, but not completely. At my desk in my office, I had no problem with reflections at my desk, but moving closer to a window allowed reflections to creep in. Even with the brightness maxed, I watched the Apple iPhone keynote on the Zen Screen OLED, pictured above, which showcased the rich, bold colors that the company tends to use to show off its new wares. The skin tones of the diverse cavalcade of presenters look natural and inky black sub dick a trademark of OLED panels were on full display. I was taken aback by just how good the monitor looked with video, including the most recent episode of She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. While the animations for the She-Hulk character are firmly in uncanny valley territory, the Zen screen OLED did its best at making Tatiana Maslany's on-screen appearance believable. Yes, that even includes the infamous twerking end credits scene with Megan Thee Stallion. In the end, the Zen screen OLED is a fine entry into the category for Mesas, but its price tag might cause it to get lost in the mix. Though a little slim on special features, it has a built-in stand, of course, and for travel purposes, it comes with its own travel case. It also has portrait mode for reading documents and coding, as well as two 4.8W speakers, but that's about it. However, if you don't really need anything fancy, it's the best one out of all the budget portable monitors you'll see on Amazon. This 15.6-inch 1080p display is a little dim with its brightness topping at 250 nits, but it has two USB-C ports, one of which has 60 W power delivery, plus a mini HDMI. It's also very light, one of the lightest options on here, coming in at only 1.5 OBs, an advantage if you're a digital nomad on an extended trip around the world. We're still working on testing and uh, reviewing this display. Uh, but ViewSonic's budget monitors haven't failed us yet, and this one is also very highly reviewed by verified customers on Amazon. A portable monitor is a handy tool to have in your laptop bag. When you're traveling, these devices are a lightweight and efficient way to provide additional workspace while on the go, and many can do so relatively affordable. The VA1655 is a 15.6-inch 1080p resolution and a 60 hearts. Its lightweight design, built-in adjustable kickstand, and easy-to-use OSD make a good first impression. However, it takes more than a low price tag around $109 to be considered one of the best portable monitors on the market. Now, the VA1655 is lightweight at just 1.5 pounds, primarily due to its all-plastic construction. However, this isn't the typical thick, high-grade plastic seen in this price category. Given its thin and flexible nature, this plastic is a few rungs down on us on the quality ladder. The monitor feels empty when picked up with no sense of heft or substance. It's a bit unsettling. It doesn't leave me with high confidence that it will survive many bumps and drops along the way even with its included carrying case. However, I appreciated the added real estate in Windows 11 and Mac OS, particularly when I was performing productivity tasks. When tossing a Word document or Excel spreadsheet to a secondary portable monitor, I'm less concerned about color performance and more about seeing more text or cells on the screen at once. However, the monitor feels cheaply made, which makes me wonder if it would survive years of frequent travel. Its color performance also lags well behind its similarly priced peers, and the integrated speakers are mediocre. There aren't a lot of portable monitors geared towards gamers. Luckily, Asus has us covered with its line of ROG portable gaming monitors. There's a few of them worth looking at. But if you want the best, we suggest going for the Asus ROG Strix XG6HPE, which we've gamed on ourselves. 
This 15.6 inch version comes with a versatile built-in kickstand that gives users the option to switch from landscape to portrait mode, which comes in handy if you're also a coder. Though only a 1080p panel, it does come with 144 hertz, which makes it ideal for fast-paced titles as well as NVIDIA G-Sync support. There is a built-in battery, which also makes this a worthy proposition if that's important to you, but it's small and only gives you up to two hours of use. There are speakers built in as well, though you'd want to rely on a gaming headset instead. It brings a lot of features to the table, including the ability to orient in either landscape or portrait modes. All of this functionality comes with a $399 price tag, which puts the XG 16A HPE into a higher tier for portable monitors. At the top right of the display, you'll find four buttons. The rightmost button is power, with an embedded LED that turns blue when the display is active and red when it is in standby mode. The other three buttons are responsible for navigating the on-screen display, OSD. On the left-hand side of the display, toward the bottom, you'll find all the requisite inputs. Two USB-C ports are included. One provides power while the other supports DisplayPort Alt Mode. There's also a mini HDMI port and a headphone jack provided, rounding out the features of the XG16A HPE are a pair of one-watt speakers, which provide respectable sound. In our testing, the ASUS ROG Strix XG16A HPE proved to be an excellent companion for gamers that want to expand real estate on the laptop or add a second monitor uh, for a desktop system where space is short. We had a great experience with the XG16A HPE on PCs and Macs, but it also was just as capable when connected to an Xbox Series X console and a Nintendo Switch OLED. You get a lot for your money at the $399 price point, including connected via USB-C or HDMI, a fast 144Hz refresh rate with NVIDIA G-Sync support, and solid build quality despite its all-plastic construction. The monitor weighs just under two pounds, and they served it thin enough so that it should squeeze into most medium to large laptop bags with a 15.6 inch class laptop or larger. If you don't have additional room for the monitor, Asus wisely includes a carrying case to accommodate the XG16 AHPE and all of your cables adapters. If you're a MacBook user who is a photographer, videographer, or graphic designer by trade, we recommend checking out our best portable monitor for creative suggestion further down this list. However, if you're more of a business or productivity power user needing to extend your MacBook's display, then the LG Gram PoolView 60MR70 is the ideal choice. The LG Gram line is known for its super lightweight nature, and you can expect the same from this portable monitor, sitting at only 1.45 pounds for a 16-inch display. It's, in fact, lighter than many of the smaller options on this list. Naturally, it works beautifully with the MacBooks, especially with its two USB-C ports. And while its color accuracy isn't anything to write home about, it does offer DCI-P3 99% color gamut, which is a nice concession. While we have yet to get our hands on this display for a proper review, which we plan on doing soon, it's been positively received by Amazon customers. It's currently enjoying a 3.4 out of 5 rating with some reviewers declaring it an impressive portable monitor despite its minor flaws.